So right now, I crossed on the door um, a young man who was kind enough to open the door for me and very young. Uh, he was white, Caucasian and looked almost uh, Russian. Absolutely not my type. This white blonde, blonde, did I say blonde? And um, as I passed the door, he holding, I, I thanked him and he responded with just one word. Yet, what do I wish to say? The energy was, I had been expecting and there's really no need for you to say thank you. I gotcha. Really nice. Now I am told it's my husband with a mask. He felt good, really good. As you look at the drawing, the painting yet to come, you see God, but you also see a frame. And as I wish to show you, talking through her, it's thought. Since I am the person above and below, and thought is the structure, like a big mechanical <laughs> protector what's he doing <clears throat> he is exercising his will So the chest area of the god is like transparent. You can see the sky through. And that is exactly what's happening with me. I feel as if I were transparent, especially around the solar plexus area. Like everything breathes right through me. Ever since in my awareness, 2010, 11, then all the years after, I don't need to talk in my verbal expression to notice or make myself clear with those who can listen to me and want to. You may call it telepathy when there is a mind action involved. And that is because of the transparency in the field. Now I can read and I can speak. And those who listen, they may get a really warm feeling. When they hear me, I don't need to breathe much. I can hold my breath or let's just say I don't hold it but I can just not breathe for a long time right above and also below the water ever since that sensation happened I sense even not breathing that the oxygen comes into my body everywhere I wasn't allowed to move since the master came to me often I was laying down, not moving, and when I had to go somewhere, I, I had to be grounded. And that means um, someone had to actually hold my hand, both hands, my arm.
And then my tiny little Sophia, she said, as she held only my hand as we walked side by side, she said, you're so light. You all act like you think I am playing. Like, it's a big theater play, like, I am nobody, I don't exist. The fact is that you don't really exist. You don't ever wish to take me seriously. You don't take your God seriously. Your mother, your provider, your savior. You don't wish to respect me. You wish to overtly disrespect and disregard me. Is that the will of God? <laughs> All you ever do is enhance evil. So you don't allow me to be. You don't wish me to because you don't respect me as your president. You don't wish me to govern because you don't respect me as your savior. You have no gratefulness, you have no appreciation. And you especially do not respect your God. You lie and you cheat, you are harmful and violent. And you don't allow me, hence, you do not wish God to govern. What makes that out of you? Who are you? You are unlawful to God. You are unlawful to the constitution of any country. And thus I allow you to have free will. You do not allow us to govern. So your wish is decay. Do you actually believe or trust that God will allow you to disturb and destroy earth? Those who see me and saw me, they bow to me. And if you wish to be, you will bow to me, with or without me. With me? And even without me, you will bow. Life is to be interacting, interbeing, interest, interessere with nature and every single living being on earth interacting you cannot interact when you wish to murder and to kill life is joy and you may never have joy if you're not grateful And you cannot be alive if you don't let live, if you do not allow 